Picture this. You are in a pit with 1,000 other people. Your captors tell the crowd that any person can buy their freedom for $1. Nobody had money to start, but your captors are throwing money into the pit. If you collect $1, you will be free. But here's the catch. Your captors are only throwing in $5, in pennies. In order to gain your freedom, you must collect 100 pennies out of the 500. But keep in mind, you are in a pit with 999 other people. The 500 pennies will, would get distributed throughout the prisoners. If it was distributed evenly, which is extremely unlikely, only one out of two of the people in the pit would get one penny. So the chances for you to collect 100 coins is extremely unlikely. Now, consider the alter alternative. Rather than 500 pennies, your captors decide to throw in five $1 coins. Now, rather than collecting 100 pennies, you only need to collect one coin. It would take much longer to collect 100 pennies rather than one $1 coin. Now picture this. Instead of a pit, a piece of metal. When we shine light on that metal, electrons start to move around in the metal. That is, current starts to flow. Interestingly, when we do this experiment, we get no current with red light, low frequency light, even when we make it very bright, high amplitude. However, low amplitude blue light, high frequency, gets electrons to move. Why would this be? The red light works just like the pennies, meaning, meaning it has very low energy. And the blue light is like the dollar bill, meaning it has very high energy. The people are the electrons who are free only when they get enough energy, or in the analogy, money. The pit is the metal which has trapped all the people, or our, in this case, our electrons. The red light is like the pennies, for in the, which it is the low energy, not enough to free a trapped person, or electron. Whereas blue light is like the dollar bills, which is a bundle of energy and one bill is enough to free a person. So Einstein discovered the photoelectric effect. Uh, he wrote a paper about it in 1905. And he was given a Nobel Prize for this, not uh, a Nobel Prize to do anything with relativity. And so the photoelectric effect proves that light behaves like a particle. And so previous evidence like, showed that light would behave as a wave. And so this like, changed the mindset of scientists.